G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab. Look what I got here today. Yeah, it's the Blue Eddy AC240P. It's their new model. I'm pretty excited because this is the biggest portable power station that I've actually had a look at on this channel. First, I've got to get it out of the box. <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> tell you a bit about this unit. This is actually a 1.8 kilowatt hour capacity portable power station. That's 843 watt hours. It's a nominal 51.2 volt lithium ferrophosphate battery. You could describe that as 36 amp hours as well. It's IP65. Now this is probably one of the standout features of this product is the IP rating. Well, there it is. We got it out of the box, we being me. It is 33 kilos, so I'd probably recommend a couple of people to lift this, but it's got some very easy to grip handles on top uh, for lifting this unit. So let's run through some of the features. Ingress protection. Ingress from things like dust and water uh, or fingers, what you can touch. So IP65 is one of the highest levels. Basically, you can put this outside and you can hose it down. Yep. It's got all these lovely little vents on the front here, but they've got uh, internal uh, isolation from all the electrical components. So this unit can be washed, but you would want to make sure that all the caps are on. So of course, you don't want to get water into your power points. That's why they've got all these little rubber caps on everything. And uh, let's see what happens. Whoa, <laughs> there it is. Beautiful display and a lot of outputs. Now I'm going to run through some of the features of this unit. The battery type is a lithium ferrophosphate, which has a really long cycle life. This is estimated to have over three and a half thousand cycles to an 80% discharge capacity after three and a half thousand cycles. For a camping unit, it's going to last you <laughs> a very long time. The recommendation is to recharge it to 80% every three to six months. Some of the BMS monitoring will also discharge it. So you should turn it off and charge it, well, every three to six months. In terms of management, this unit has a battery management system. That means it looks after its safety and the health of its battery automatically. So when you're charging it from any of the mini sources, whether it's solar, whether it's 12 volt, 24 volt DC, or uh, from AC power from a wall outlet, the battery management system looks after the battery. You don't have to worry about stopping charging it. It also has a MPPT controller, maximum power point tracking controller. That's a pretty big thing. That means when you connect a solar panel to this, it will charge the battery at the most efficient level that the solar panel can work at. It has four 230 volt outputs, and there they all are, right? 230 volt outputs. I like the way they've actually um, alternated some or so-called upside down and some normal way around because many plug packs dangle down from the uh, uh, active pins. And so <laughs> you might not be able to plug two on top of each other if they have a, a wall wart, as it were. It also has a bunch of USB ports. Now, the USB ports here, two 100 watt type C. Now that means you can basically charge and run a laptop computer. There's also two USB A ports and they're rated at a big 18 watts as well. We've got some uh, 12 volt ports here, which have a maximum output of 10 amps, which is 120 watts, and there's one of those. But there is also an RV port. Uh, so an RV port is just a high capacity 12 volt uh, outlet. So 30 amps, that's 360 watts. Now all of those outputs are regulated. That means that they're protected from uh, under voltage. In terms of input, you can plug AC power into this and charge it very fast. Now it's one of the, the big pluses of the Blue Eti, uh, the AC240P is it has a 2.2 kilowatt charging rate. That is really fast. If you use the expansion battery, the B210, you can charge it at 2.4 kilowatts. Yeah, even faster. In terms of solar input, 1.2 kilowatts. Now that's a lot of solar panels uh, for a portable system. So 1.2 kilowatts, it'll take panels in the voltage window of 11 to 60 volts with a maximum current of 21 amps. Now it's also got um, input for charging from a vehicle. So if you're driving and the car's running a motor, it's got surplus energy uh, and you can use the 12 volt or if you have a 24 volt vehicle like some trucks uh, you can use the 24 volt uh, output to charge this as well.
as well. The maximum total input power with both AC power and solar input is 2.4 kilowatt. Now let's talk about the uh, the general features of this unit, uh, the scalability. Uh, you can expand it with more storage. Now there's a storage module called the B210. Uh, so the B210, you can have up to four of those chained. There's a, a connection on the side here and you can connect more and more storage. It has pass-through charging. What does that mean? Well, when you're charging it, the AC power isn't being taken out of the battery at the same time. So you're using AC power from the grid to provide power to these uh, outlets and you're charging the battery. So that's called pass-through. Uh, it's uh, 419.5 wide by um, 200 and... Uh, 93.5 deep by 409 high. Now in terms of inches, that's 16.5 by 11.6 by 16.1 inches. This unit can be used from pretty cold conditions. Um, so minus 20 degrees Celsius uh, to positive 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, in terms of Fahrenheit, that means it's a minus four degrees Fahrenheit to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's the operating temperature range. And lastly, the warranty on this unit is six years. Now that's pretty good for a consumer product, six year warranty. Now I've had some quite small portable power stations, but to run some of the big lights, this is what I need. So yeah, we've got, an accessories box, and it actually has a Bluetooth monitoring, which I'm pretty excited about. It means I can actually monitor this unit without having to stand in front of it and press buttons. Uh, very familiar with these. Uh, these are what's conventionally used on solar panels to connect uh, the solar panel, and there is the input plug uh, for the unit here. And this is for vehicle charging, so your 12 or 24 volt outlet, um, connecting into here. This is your AC power inlet. So that's my AC uh, inlet power. Plug that into a generator or a wall outlet and this into this unit and I can charge it. There's a lot more in the manual. I'm not gonna go through that now. So I'm downloading the Blue Eti app. That will allow me to uh, monitor this unit. First thing it wants you to do is uh, log in and or register. So let's do that. Allow Blue Eti to find Bluetooth devices. Yes, please. Okay, add device. And it's found it straight away. There it is, the AC240P. Um, it shows me a picture of it. Press okay, and it is binding. Now I can select a Wi-Fi network. Wow, this is gonna to click to my Wi-Fi? I thought it was just gonna be Bluetooth. It's um, Wi-Fi as well. Right, so I'm now connected to my cloud and it's connected to my access point and now I'm connected to the cloud as well. So it shows me my device and also I can turn on and off the DC and AC outputs. Let's turn on the AC outputs. Green light came on, turn on the DC outputs. Whoa, DC outputs came on. Wow. <laughs> So if the kids won't go to bed, I can just from the app uh, turn the power off uh, when they're in the camping tent running their devices off this. So it's reporting all energy sources. At the moment, there's nothing plugged into this. And uh, it's also telling me what the status of the different uh, outlet ports are. So there we are. Uh, we're charging at the moment. It's ramping up. So it says the input is uh, 600 watts, 800 watts. So it's a soft start and off it goes. Now, I wonder what I'm gonna plug in here. Let's try and charge my phone while I'm at it. Let's get a cable for that. So the app is uh, basically showing me all the same things that are on the screen here. If I turn off the AC output, I'm turning off the AC up, there we go. And uh, then I can turn it back on again, there we go. So the app is telling me that it's charging at 820 watts at the moment, probably because the battery's a bit cold. It's not ramping up to full power yet. Remember the battery management system is there to protect the battery from abuse, and that includes charging it when it's not warm enough. So lithium ion batteries can discharge down to some very cold temperatures. In the case of this one, minus 20 degrees. This studio, unfortunately, does get very cold overnight. So here in, um, Subalpine Victoria uh, will get down to like five degrees at nighttime. So it's probably just feeling a little chilly at the moment. Now, in terms of solar, um, I don't even have solar panels inside, but I'm gonna try this outside with a portable solar panel system. And maybe I'll stick it in my vehicle and see if I can charge it off uh, 12 volts as well. The Blue Eti AC240P, uh, a beautiful looking unit, 
with lots of grunt. Oh, did I mention <laughs> its power rating actually has a peak power of way more than its continuous rating. So it can actually surge. Surge rating is for short bursts of heavy load and that surge rating is 3,600 watts. Yeah, that's a, that's a big surge rating. And that's useful when you've got things like motor starts. So uh, it can cope with some of those uh, big loads during uh, intermittent uh, inrush from things like motors and pumps. So there you go. Thanks for watching. 